Hello everyone, thank you for a very warm welcome and thank you for this opportunity to tell you something more about our solution. So I would like to ask you like, how many of you are daily using navigation? Oh, cool. Is it online or offline navigation? Online, okay. So, and when you are traveling somewhere, let's say, I don't know, to Malaysia, what would you do? Ah, okay, smart. All right, cool. So uh, once again, thank you for this opportunity. Um, uh, Sajik is on the market for more than 15 years already. And as it was already announced, we are having a huge database of users. This database of users, it's uh, including the B2B and B2C guys uh, worldwide. I'm coming from the enterprise department. I'm being with the company for 12 years already. So um, let me share with you some uh, company overview in the numbers. So for example, when I joined the company, it was only 30 of us over there. And now it's more than 200 employees. And since we are focusing strongly on innovation and uh, trying to understand the client's needs, uh, most of our uh, colleagues are working in the uh, R&D department. We are actually number one publisher of the applic navigation application for uh, Google Play or iOS. So when you are searching for navigation, uh, surely Sidejig will come up. So um, let me share some references with you. Um, I included uh, references from different uh, departments. Uh, as I said, we are having the B2C department, which is focusing on uh, navigation for your daily uses. But uh, I'm coming from B2B department, so we are working with the system integrators who are basically creating the complex fleet management solution for the end customers and drivers, such as was presented today. So I understood it's uh, good to tell you more about how we are uh, working with them. So I choose a couple of them. Uh, basically, those partners are creating the web-based solution and the mobile application for the driver. So what's happening is they are taking our navigation and integrating it in the three ways, how they can include seamlessly our navigation module to their system. So what's happening um, in the background? Um, uh, dispatchers are creating the list of stops for the drivers, let's say, or the they are picking up the destination from the map and pushing it over to the driver's device. Driver doesn't need to do anything else just to accept the job. And since everything is integrated seamlessly on one device, he's easily being navigated to the destination or he's following the list of stops which was created by the dispatcher. Um, yeah. In most cases, when we are talking to customers, they are, they are thinking like, oh, it's just navigation. I don't need that because my drivers can use whatever they want to. The huge uh, benefit of our system is that uh, it comes with a lot of safety features, such as junction view, uh, text-to-speech, text to let's say, or the message which was sent to the driver could be read to the driver by the dispatcher. He can even uh, dynamically change his route, and the driver doesn't need to focus on anything else, just being uh, navigated to the destination. As you can see, we are um, using a lot of uh, very nice graphic features, so you can see the elevation on the buildings around you, and also uh, we are having a list database of points of interest. So um, I choose a couple of uh, partners from different verticals because uh, when you are talking to the partners, they are thinking like, okay, navigation is useful maybe for um, delivery guys or transport and logistics, but there are many other fields we are being used. Uh, let's say we are being used also in emergency segment where we are uh, cooperating with our uh, partners, integrators, who are integrating us and uh, basically the driver of ambulance is uh, navigated directly to the incident point and so on. Um, the use cases from this region, I picked up a Saudi electricity company and Ajman Authority, uh, Transport Authority. So um, how to manage the drivers when you are having like 5,000 of them and you, make uh, you have to make sure they are visiting, let's say, metro reading stations. So our partners uh, integrated navigation into their system and they provided uh, 
solution for more than 5,000 field workers of Saudi electricity company. And uh, basically what they did is that the dispatcher is creating the list of stops for him and he's visualizing the assets on the top of the map. So it's very easy for the driver to get navigated exactly to the certain point. And if anything happens, like uh, he's not able to reach the area or whatever, he can easily notify the dispatcher and he'll dynamically change his route. So the results basically are increased efficiency of the driver. And since our system, uh, it's a hybrid, it could work online or offline, the everything is stored uh, within the end customer in case he wishes so. Another use case I choose is the Ajman Transport Authority. So um, we are helping to drivers to being uh, navigated directly to the pickup and drop of a destination. And uh, he doesn't need to play with his phone trying to find the destination whenever client is deciding to change the destination, he can do so very easily, uh, also using the rich database of points of interest and so on. And the dispatcher is always notified when the driver either reached the destination or he deviated from pre-computed route and so on. Another thing we are being very active at, it's uh, insurance, insurance industry. So we were being approached by Acmea Group, which is Canadian-based insurance company. And together with Sajik, uh, they developed the solution called Onlya. How does it work? Actually, Sajik driver's behavior was installed on the mobile device of the user. The user is just a regular user of the driver, uh, of the car, I'm sorry. So he's just a regular driver. And since uh, we are able to monitor his driving uh, style, let's say, based on the, based on the uh, pedometer, gyroscope, and accelerometer, which is being normally included in any kind of smartphone now, we are able to generate the way how he's driving. What Acmea did with his uh, solution of Onlya, they based on the style of the driver's driving, uh, they were able to decrease either the price for the insurance for next year, or they were, they were um, uh, offering the driver some uh, another interesting uh, vouchers, let's say at Starbucks or at the fuel station or washing the vehicle and so on. So we had a great success with this solution. As I said, it's possible to record the trip of the driver, and you can see everywhere on the on that route, which was uh, created by the driver, you can see the incidents. So either he was harsh braking or overspeeding, or he was uh, doing anything else which was not allowed. He was penalized then, and he received his score. So we are trying to couch the drivers and um, visualize them like the way they are driving, they are receiving certain score. This could be also applied um, for huge fleets where the dispatcher or manager of the, of the fleet needs to find out like uh, what's the driving status of their fleet. So often you might saw the sign on the, on the track like, am I driving? Nicely, if not, call this number. So this is the solution for this. And what are we focusing at this moment now is that our uh, development team is actually um, uh, scanning all the signs and uh, uh, objects in front of the vehicle. So we are using only the camera included in the mobile phone and we are analyzing what's around the driver. So we are collecting the speed limits, let's say, signposts, but also we are monitoring if, whether the driver is approaching the object in front of him in certain speed and he doesn't change the direction, there is a chance of collision. So our application will notify the driver either slow down or change the direction because there could be a collision. It's pretty much that's it. If you are having any kind of questions, please share with me. Thank you. Um, try to understand, the, you do everything 
um, uh, like driver behavior and uh, only only by phone. The application yes. is installed. You don't need a tracker. Exactly. Thank you very much. Okay. That's a okay. very good point. You don't need any kind of black box. So we are uh, able to analyze the driving style based only on the mobile phone. And for, uh, we are or, or, or just navigation. only the navigation. So basically, we are cooperating with the company, uh, companies who are developing the complex solution. They are taking our navigation as a module because uh, developing of navigation is quite a difficult process. So what we are doing is that we are focusing solely on the navigation part and then taking the information how the drivers drive, in, let's say, and everything else is being provided by our partners. So the complex solution, the backend solution, the planning, the optimization, let's say, we are working with the companies who are optimizing the routes and basically the optimized route could be pushed directly to the driver. And the route pre-calculated on the backend, it's exactly the same in the mobile device. Yeah, that's covered by our partners. So the complex solution, it's done by them. The navigation part, it's done by us, visualized on the mobile device. And the driver doesn't even know that he's using two separate applications because thanks to more than 80 APIs, everything is work, working together as one application. Sure, gladly. Yes, uh, Walid al Bashir in Baun. Uh, I have two questions regarding the, the driver behavior, the aggregation of the data from yes. the accelerometer. Does it work offline or uh, uh, it has to be online? It doesn't have to be online. It's basically collecting the data and it could be uploaded to the server uh, after the trip. But uh, there is also possibility to be online. So the driver sees the real time his score or whether he's uh, deviating from the normal style. Okay, the other question would be the setup for, for those incidents with acceleration or braking or whatever. Yes. Um, do you do a liner approach on to this setup or you involve like machine learning and train data into getting this uh, stuff? So we did some evaluations at the beginning and uh, we are um, advising our clients to use our setup but it's solely up to the client, whether he would like to penalize more overspeeding or harsh braking, whatever. So it could be uh, changed according to the needs of the customer. Have you, tried, uh, have you tried training a model based on the data you aggregate in order to see the tray hold for like harsh braking and acceleration or whatever? Or it works on the li uh, in your model, I'm asking. In your model, does it work like a liner, like if it is... 0.5 G, then it's a harsh breaking or, or or like that. Or you do do you do um, indoor and adaptive sort of machine learning that improve along the time? Yeah, exactly as you said. So at the beginning we were studying some already uh, created case studies, and based on those we were setting up the measurements. And then of course there is a lot of testing and adjusting, and also the automated um, changing of the measures is included. Thank you. Yes. Uh, can we work with your platform offline? Yes. Mean install, mean install your platform itself on our server and uh, our while on server connect with your platform to get map and route uh, optimization. <laughs> I'm sorry. So uh, regarding the driver scoring, you mean, or for the navigation? No, for the Sajik itself, Sajik platform itself. It's have, you have your on our maps, right? Yeah. So uh, maps are installed together with the app application on the device. We are not having the web-based solution for this system. Regarding the driver scoring, the data could be sent to our server to be processed or to the client server to your server, but this server should be local. I, 
the cloud server. We, we, we request uh, between time to time offline solution, 100% offline. Okay. So you can help us on this? Yeah, sure, definitely. Well, depends on the client needs. So basically when the client decides everything runs on our side regarding the driver behavior, it's no, no, I'm not talking about the driver behavior. Uh, talking in case, about in, in case the of map and route oh, optimization. Okay. So the, the planning of a route on the web-based solution, it's not part of our system. So it needs to be covered by the system integrator who's uh, actually having the solution where you, can, you are having web-based map and you need to plan the route and then push it to optimization tool. And everything optimized, ready to be used, could be connected to our navigation and then we are coming okay. the game. Thank you. Thank you. So we are covering only the mobile navigation in this matter. Sorry. Uh, so your solutions depends on the mobile device itself. Uh, does it change uh, the, the data you, you, will, uh, you will get? Does, does it depends on the device type or model, the specification of the mobile, it is old or new? Um, not really. So uh, basically what we are doing is that we are covering the wide range of the mobile devices or specialized ruggedized devices such as Zebra, Datalogic, Honeywell, doesn't really matter to us. Our system also uh, runs on Windows Mobile, Windows C and Linux devices. So in case the operation system is not older than certain um, version, we are able to run our system on it. Do you have some statistics about uh, the ratio between uh, the excellent working devices or uh, uh, let's say uh, comparing with the uh, not good devices? Is this uh, old operating system or old models uh, that give not accurate mm -hmm. um, data? So in general, the mobile devices we were uh, supplying solution to uh, in the past, uh, it was very important that they have a good uh, GPS chip and the uh, LCD display had to be in certain uh, measure. But otherwise, uh, if you are using older device, it's uh, normal that the modern uh, application, which has a lot of, of uh, information included, could be a bit slower, but in general, we are able to just turn off certain features mm. and there is no problem. And a lot of our clients in the past, when they were using the, let's say, old Motorola devices, they were also using the SD card for uh, storing a certain part of navigation. So there was no problem at all. Mm -hmm. Basically, we don't really have any kind of list of devices like, oh, this is not good for you. If it runs Android 4.4 and higher, we are able to supply the solution. Let's say, Thank in you. this case. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, hi, getting back to your question about routing, yeah? Uh, currently we are implementing uh, Sagic API to be alone, so the routing uh, probably will be available uh, for our customers. And the question is, uh, how do you set up all those criteria for trucks, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> clearance and all the weights and all others? Both in application and if it's uh, and what is the list of criteria that mm -hmm. we can use or you can use to build the correct route? Okay, uh, so in general, our application comes in modification for trucks, let's say, and you are able to set the profile for the vehicle. It means that you'll enter the height, the the width, and the, whether it uh, it's carrying any kind of hazardous material and you are good to go. The algorithm within the application knows where you are allowed to go with this truck or van or a regular car. So um, there are a lot of restrictions, mostly in Europe, as you might know, that the trucks are not allowed to cross the downtown or if you are carrying uh, dangerous goods, you are not allowed to come near to the water or lake or river. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> So application is taking into consideration the calculation of route if it's decided to be calculated on mobile device. It's taking um, all those information you enter about the vehicle and it's calculating the route so you are avoiding all the restricted areas. 
Mm -hmm. And is it possible to enter, let's say, make and the model of a vehicle, and then you have all the data on yes. the sizes? Yeah, let's yeah. Say, yeah, yeah. It's possible to import all the data to the navigation. You mean import? Uh, so when you are having like a set of attributes, you need to um, enter to the navigation. You can store them in the file and just import them. To I, I mean, if I have, uh, if I know that I have in the Scania track of that model, oh, Scania track. is it oh, okay. possible to just put Scania at that model and then you have all the measurements? Let's oh, say. Oh, that's a very good question. I don't think it works like that, but I can find out for you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Oh. I'm afraid this will be the last question because we have a time limit to stick to, so. Currently, if you're buying vehicle parts, you put in the VIN number and it tells you the full specification of mm -hmm. the vehicle. So I think that should be the answer. It should be, but I'll need to find out whether it works like this because I know that a lot of our clients, they're having like a specific information they need to uh, import. No, so, that's on the trucks. I can understand that okay. because a truck can be towing a 40-foot trailer or a 54-foot trailer, whatever. Mm -hmm. But as far as vehicles are concerned, a car is concerned, then if the VIN number is put into the uh, phone, it will tell you, give you a full specification of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I mean, this goes back as far as about 10, 15 years. That's what happens even if you're buying any part. Okay, I'll find out for you <laughs> regarding this. Well, I've answered my question, but... It's true, <laughs> because the manufacturer will, from every VIN number, tells you what the vehicle was built sheet was. Mm -hmm. I understand what you mean. I'm just not sure whether, based on VIN number, we are able to search some kind of database which is going to tell you, like, this is this and this and this model of the vehicle. So mm -hmm. that's why I just don't want to... No, you had Mercedes up there. I saw that yes. you are providing uh, services to Mercedes. And um, it's my experience has been that the minute you give them the VIN number, they give you the full build sheet of the vehicle mm -hmm. and what parts are required for it. So the automotive brands which are included in navigation, they're uh, actually clients of our auto, um, automotive department. Mm -hmm. And uh, our automotive department is uh, working, about, uh, wor working on the cooperation, how to visualize uh, the data stored on the mobile device in the entertainment system or how to be pre-installed into the entertainment system by the manufacturer of the vehicle. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That's all. Okay, thank you very much.